I'm going to be talking about buying backup bottles. I want to know what you guys think about buying backup bottles. I want to know if you've ever done it. And I want to know what perfume that was and why you bought a backup bottle of that particular fragrance or fragrances. I'm just very curious to know how you guys feel about that. Some people are against buying backup bottles. They kind of feel as though it does go into hoarder territory. I mean, I don't really feel that way. I think we all have our reasons for wanting to buy a backup bottle of a certain fragrance. For me, I do have three main reasons as to why I may buy a backup bottle of a particular fragrance in my collection. The first is probably the most obvious, and that is I love the fragrance. So if I have a fragrance in my perfume collection and I really really like that perfume I may just buy myself another bottle you know just in case so sometimes I do do that I try not to but sometimes I feel the need to buy a backup bottle of a perfume that I really really love and that I just don't want to do without the second reason is scarcity so sometimes I run into that issue where I have a fragrance in my collection and I notice that it's getting a little bit harder to find so if I run into that issue, sometimes I may just go ahead and buy myself a backup bottle just in case it's getting discontinued or something like that. So scarcity is definitely a reason for me to buy a backup bottle of a certain perfume that's in my collection. Reason three is price inflation. So sometimes, once again, <laughs> I run into that issue where I notice that I have a perfume in my collection that I bought at a reasonable price. And then all of a sudden the price like keeps going up and sometimes that does happen maybe there's a high demand for that fragrance or something maybe an influencer talked about it or a celebrity talked about it and then next thing you know it's in high demand and everybody's buying it and because of that there's a price inflation reason number three kind of ties into reason number two which is a scarcity sometimes if a perfume is a little scarce the price may go up so if we have any of that going on Chances are I may just buy myself a backup bottle of said fragrance. But anyway guys, so today I have 10 fragrances that I bought backup bottles of. And I just want to share them with you guys and just give you guys the reason as to why I did go ahead and buy myself a second bottle of these fragrances. So if you want to see these fragrances, just keep watching. The first fragrance that I'm going to start out with is Tobacco and Tonka Bean. And this one is from the house of Banana Republic. Initially, I did purchase this one for myself, but after wearing this one a couple of times, I realized that it was more of a unisex type fragrance. So I decided that I was going to just share this bottle with my husband. But then after thinking about it, I'm like, you know what? My husband, like he's a heavy sprayer. He's like the opposite of me. He does go a little bit heavy when he's spraying fragrances. So I decided to get myself a backup just in case he runs through this bottle. If you're a guy, you have to be open-minded uh, if you're going to wear this fragrance because the vanilla here is sweet. It's delicious. I like it and I definitely think a guy could wear it. But you have to definitely be one of those guys that's okay with smelling sweet. And if you're a female wearing this scent, you have to be open to the idea of wearing a fragrance that has like a rugged or a masculine edge to it. Because the Tonka Bean does lean a little spicy and a little bit leathery. But I think the combination here is just beautiful. So yeah, I really like this one and I bought me a backup bottle because I just didn't want to be without this fragrance. I really do enjoy it. And I think my husband smells really sexy in this fragrance. Honestly, he smells so good wearing this fragrance. So if you're a guy, don't be afraid to wear this fragrance. It smells delicious on men. Y'all smell good wearing this fragrance, honestly. The next fragrance that I have here is Honey by Marc Jacobs. So funny enough, when this fragrance first came out, I didn't really have much of an interest in the fragrance. I saw the bottle and I thought it was pretty, but I don't know. I just didn't have much interest in the fragrance until probably a year ago I smelled this one on my co-worker and I was like what are you wearing and she told me she was wearing this fragrance and that she found it in TJ Maxx so of course I was like I gotta get my hands on this one went to TJ Maxx they didn't have it so I was like no big deal I just go online and buy this one went online and I was like literally shocked to see how much this one was like a 3.4 
fluid ounce bottle was for like a hundred dollars and some people were even selling this one for like two hundred dollars so i was like oh okay i see what's going on it's a discontinued scent so after understanding the situation i just left the fragrance alone and decided that it was not meant to be a couple of weeks after that i went into another tj maxx and saw a couple of bottles of this one for 39.99 so of course i picked up two bottles i was like you know it's a discontinued fragrance so that's the reason why i decided to pick myself up a second bottle and i'm so glad that i did because if you go online right now it's the same situation this fragrance is like a hundred dollars a bottle and you know who wants that problem definitely glad that i have two of these fragrances in my collection i don't regret it it's a beautiful combination of fresh watery fruits and florals it's also a little bit musky once it dries down so i really really like this one super glad to have bought a backup bottle of this one and just look how cute they are the next fragrance that i have here is berry blast and this is by pink sugar so this one is kind of new to my collection of course this is a flanker to the original pink sugar fragrance if you like the original pink sugar fragrance you will definitely like this one because it smells very similar to the original with the exception that they added a berry note to this one I like to spray this one on my daughters before they go to school when they come back home they always smell so delicious and sweet so i really really like this one this one is not as tenacious as the original pink sugar fragrance this one happens to be a little bit lighter but that's okay i did go ahead and buy myself a backup bottle of this one it's right here but it's brand new so i can't take it out but you could hear it it's definitely in there i bought a second bottle because i really like this one and i don't know why but i kind of feel like this is going to be one of those fragrances that make it discontinued i feel as though it's like a limited edition i mean nobody said that but it just gives me that vibe and another reason why i did go ahead and buy a second bottle is because i do share this one with my kids so i feel as though we're gonna go through this one pretty pretty fast so that's that for berry blast by pink sugar so the next fragrance that i have here is share beauty essence and this one is from the house of calvin klein so i know a lot of people are familiar with um the original beauty fragrance and also sheer beauty but a lot of people don't talk about the sheer beauty essence and i think this perfume is just one of the best if not the best fragrance from the house of calvin klein i really do adore this fragrance it's just so beautiful and not a lot of people talk about this one so this is about it right here i kind of have nothing left something kind of funny happened a couple of days ago i went on fragrantica because i was reading reviews on this fragrance and funny enough i ran into my own review which i wrote six years ago it's kind of funny because when i was reading it i was like oh my god this is exactly how i talk this is what i said about this fragrance we must be reviewing completely different scents obviously i was in my feelings because people was talking crap about the fragrance so i said we must be reviewing completely different scents this perfume is freaking amazing i am <laughs> I am not exaggerating when I say this is the best smelling perfume I own. I would even say the best perfume I've ever smelled. I have to own at least 200 bottles. I had to just put that in there to let people know what's up. From high end to celebrity scents. This is gorgeous. Lilacs, airy musk, and something else that is too complex to describe. The reviews on here does it no justice. Thank God I did not read the reviews before I purchased. If I could compare this to anything, I would compare it to Harajuku Lover's Love. It smells really chic and expensive and mind-blowing. Definitely signature worthy. I feel people trying to sniff me when I wear this. Smiley face. So that was basically me six years ago talking about this fragrance. And I must say, I feel the exact same way about this fragrance i think it's an amazing fragrance so let me know if you've ever tried this fragrance the crazy thing is for a while i couldn't find this fragrance it was super hard to find and when i would find it it would be very very expensive and because of that i could never recommend it on my channel which used to break my heart so i didn't talk about this one too much because it was super hard to find the other day i was browsing on fragrance net which i always do and i ran into this one like a part of me is afraid to talk about this fragrance because i don't want it to go back to being scarce but you know 
I'm not a selfish person. You understand what I'm saying? So I definitely got to put you guys on when I find a fragrance that I really, really like. So this one is a beautiful, delicate combination of lilac and rose. And underneath that, you have the most beautiful, airy musk. It smells so so good like i said in my review this is one of the best smelling perfumes that i've ever smelled it does have a very chic expensive quality to it and i feel as though it's very complex like there's something about it that i can't describe like it's not one of those perfumes you could say oh it smells like this there's something there that you just cannot explain it's very complex in that way if you think you like a perfume with lilacs and rose with a nice airy musk definitely look into this one it is absolutely stunning in my opinion so of course i got me a backup bottle it's brand new so i didn't open it as yet this is a love for me the next fragrance that i have on this list is Calvin Klein Women EDP. So if you follow my channel, this should be no surprise because y'all know how I feel about this fragrance. I absolutely love this fragrance. I'm not gonna go on and on about it because y'all y'all gonna get sick of me. But I really do like this fragrance. So it should not be a surprise that I bought myself a backup bottle. I love this fragrance. I don't wanna be without it. It's the only reason why I bought this fragrance. Just because I need to know that I have another bottle in my closet just waiting for me i simply love this fragrance because it smells good to my nose when i first got this one i didn't know how to detect the nose for some reason my nose wouldn't really pick up the notes nowadays when i wear this one i definitely detect the grapefruits i get the orange blossom and the cedarwood it's a really nice everyday scent with great performance so what's not to love definitely glad to have my little backup bottle here so this one is Calvin Klein Women, and this is the EDP. Okay, guys, so the next fragrance that I have here is Violet Eyes, my absolute favorite from Elizabeth Taylor. So a couple of years ago, before my husband became my husband, um, he decided to take me to Hawaii, and because of all the flat restrictions, I could only take one fragrance with me. I decided to go with this one. It just has this very clean, fresh fragrance that I think would smell really good in Hawaii's weather. And I also knew it was going to be a perfume that I wouldn't get sick of. It's also a very versatile fragrance, so I knew it would do good in any situation, under any circumstance. So that's the reason why I went with this fragrance. If you like cedarwood, this fragrance is definitely for you. The fragrance that it really reminds me of is Lanvin's Arpege fragrance, which is a lilac fragrance. It kind of smells like that, but I think this one is better because the cedar note is very prominent in here and it's very airy. So I would say that this fragrance tops this fragrance because of that. Of course, because I love this fragrance so much and I have this attachment to this fragrance, I bought me a backup bottle so that's the story on valet eyes by elizabeth taylor okay guys so the next fragrance that i have on this list is still by jennifer lopez so if you follow my channel y'all know how i feel about this scent so it should be no surprise that i have a backup bottle of this fragrance a bigger bottle even though some people may say that this is a simple scent or it's not special or whatever i totally disagree because even though I have so many fragrances in my collection, I really don't have any fragrance that smells like this or that feels like this. This is dominated by Earl Grey tea. And I would say that this is the only fragrance in my collection that has an Earl Grey tea note. It gives it this very fresh, earthy type scent. We also have rice in here that gives it that Asian inspired vibe. We have honeysuckle that gives it this slightly sweet, delicate type feel. And of course, in the dry down, we have musk. The crazy thing is you could find a 3.4 fluid ounce bottle of this fragrance for like 20 bucks. And I can honestly say this, this is one of my most complimented fragrance I have other expensive fragrances in my collection you guys know that and they don't garner compliments like this fragrance right here so i'm telling you it's definitely a beautiful scent definitely try this one out if you like tea fragrances this is definitely one of the best tea fragrances out there so this is still by jennifer lopez the next fragrance that i have on this list is pleasures intense and this one is by estee lauder the crazy thing about this fragrance is that i bought this fragrance on a day that i was having one of the worst days ever 
I was just having such a bad day. I can't remember now what I was so stressed out about or so sad about. But I remember I was in the city by myself. It was after work. And I decided that, you know what? I need something to pick me up. I need, I, I need something, okay? I don't do drugs. So for me, this perfume was my drug. And I was like, I need a hit. I need something. So I went into Macy's, I think. It was in the city. And I hate the city. If you know me, you'll know I hate the city. But that day, I was really feeling very down and out. And I just knew that I had to take something home with me. And of course, when I'm feeling that way, the only thing that could genuinely make me feel better is perfume. So I went browsing into Macy's and I tried this one. I really wasn't that impressed. I kind of felt like it was kind of different from the original. And I didn't know how I felt about it. But because I was so down and out... Um, I just wanted to buy something new. So the sales person that was helping me, she kind of convinced me to take it. And it wouldn't have been hard to convince me on a day like that to buy a perfume because I just wanted to take something home. On the ride home, I was having regrets. I didn't really like it. So I thought about returning it. But, you know, days passed and I decided I was going to give it a try. I really fell in love with this fragrance honestly even to this day i would not advise anyone to blind buy this fragrance because it's very unique it did take me a little while to fall in love with this fragrance so this one is like a garden of fresh and sweet flowers i don't want to say dark but there's something a little bit deeper and sweeter about this one that i really really like this one is all about lilies and peonies so it does have a clean scent sometimes it even reminds me of shampoo a little bit but there's a little bit of sweetness under this one because we do have maple styrax benzoin and vanilla in the base so it does feel a little bit sweeter but trust me don't let that scare you it's a really really pretty scent and of course i have the a backup bottle because this is a one-of-a-kind floral scent you have to be a little bit open-minded especially at first but once you get it you get it wore this one to bed last night and i got up smelling so fresh so clean a little sweet it smells so 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 good so i'm definitely glad to have a backup bottle of this one in my collection so the next fragrance that i have on this list is eternity moment and this is from the house of calvin klein i love the fragrances from the house of calvin klein i think they do fresh fragrances so well this is one of their best fragrances especially if you're into feminine fragrances because i know a lot of times uh calvin klein fragrances kind of lean a little bit unisex this one is definitely a feminine fragrance so eternity moment is classified as a floral fragrance and i would say for the most part that's kind of like what i get it's dominated by peony which gives it this very soft clean pink flower type scent but it also has some fruity aspects we have raspberry and lychee which gives it like a fruity tartness which really complements the peony and of course we have a musky aquatic undertone it's an incredibly pretty scent so i decided to get me a backup bottle i mean i, I just couldn't help myself this bottle is really small and i didn't like the fact that i had to hold back while using it so i said you know what it's pretty inexpensive so why not just get me a backup bottle so that's what we have here this is eternity moment and it's from the house of calvin klein the last fragrance that i have on this list is actually a celebrity scent it's by paris and this one is called Paris. A couple of years ago, she had came out with this series of fragrances that she calls the Passport series. There were different fragrances within that collection. I owned a couple, but Paris is the last one that I added to my collection. And I would say that this is probably my favorite. I also really enjoy Tokyo. The Tokyo fragrance is really, really good. Um, very Asian inspired, clean, fresh type scent. This fragrance right here is completely different now this isn't really what i think of when i think about paris but you know i've never been to paris so you know i can't say but i really really like this fragrance and it's much more than what i was expecting i just really really like this one this one is categorized as a fruity floral scent but i think it's more of a fruity floral gourmand scent because i think it has all aspects it's kind of weird but what i get from this one is peach and red berries 
reduced in brown sugar now there's no brown sugar in this fragrance so i'm not really sure what i'm picking up on here what i think i'm probably getting though is the amber because we have amber in this fragrance so i think what i'm getting here is that combination of the peach red berries and the amber and what i really love about this fragrance is how they incorporate like some fresh flowers in here it sounds like it wouldn't work but that added jasmine notes just really set everything apart it just smells so good it's really really pretty and it's quite affordable so once i realized that i really like this one i bought me a backup bottle i went and got myself a big bottle and i only paid 10 bucks for this one on fragrance net you can't lose and to be honest the quality is really good like this is just oh my god it smells so good oh my god <laughs> it smells so Oh, it smells so freaking good. One of the best celebrity scents, to be honest. Like, even though it does feel a little juvenile, um, there's something about it that is still very alluring, even to someone my age. It's really, really nice. And, of course, I'm so happy that I have a backup bottle of this one because I already made a little dent into the baby. I know it's not a big dent, but for me, that's a big dent being that I have so many fragrances in my collection. That pretty much brings me to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed doing this one for you, but don't forget to join me below in the comments and let me know what you think about buying backup bottles of perfumes that you love. And if you've ever done it, let me know what fragrance that was. Let me know down below in the comments. Let's get the conversation started below. You guys are really good with interacting with my videos anyway i must say that you guys are like the best supporters that one could ask for and i really do appreciate that that's like support that you can't buy anyway guys so that's it for me i'm out of here talk to y'all later bye